Hey friends, it's Dara, and we're about to talk about some Hallmark Channel stuff, okay? Specifically, a royal runaway romance. Um, it stars Philippa Northeast and Brent Doherty, okay? Um, we have Princess Amelia, she's being painted, uh, somebody's doing a portrait of her, yes, and she begins, she begins to get the lovey doveys for the artist, his name is Wes, and he goes back to America, uh, Chicago specifically, and she's like, I'm gonna find a way to get there. So she calls up her uncle and she's like, unk, listen. You got a birthday coming up, right? So you want to see me or what? You want to see me, right? He was like, you know what? I do want to see you. Why don't you, you and your mom come over here? She's like, I bet. And so her mom is just like, daughter, we're going to visit your uncle. Does this have anything to do with that painter? And she's like, no. <laughs> All the while, it is the reason why. So they end up going to the Americas. Um, <laughs> the Americas. They end up going, staying with her uncle in Los, An Los Angeles. And uh, that's where she tries to find a way to sneak away so that she can see Wes. All the while, her uncle puts his bodyguard, Grady, Q. Brant Dougherty's character, in charge of Amelia. He's like, I need you 24-7, 365 over this, this one right here. This is my special, this is my niece. Even though he didn't talk like that because he's in Los Angeles. Um, So he follows her around. They have a party. He's following her around. She's like, why are you all up in my space? Like... <laughs> personal bubble invasion he's like listen i'm just doing my job get with it or get going and she's like you know what let me put on the rules real quick steal your keys and then try to go out so i can see wes in chicago and he's like cute but not fitting to work and her uncle's just like well what's all going on she tells him and so he's like, you know what? I, I came over here because I was in love. You go ahead, do your do your thing. Go over to Chicago. Take the blue Mustang. It's on me. And, you know, ra-da-da, ta-ta-ta. And so that's where the road trip comes in. And then, you know, they fall into the love. And it's cute. And they experience some things along the way, you know. And such is a royal runaway romance. Now. How did it fare in my heart, in my soul, in my spirit? How did this movie fare? I'm gonna do something different because I normally, I find that I'm sometimes I forget about it by the end. So I'm gonna give you my crown rating and then I'm going to explain why I rated it that way. I'm giving this movie a four out of five crowns. Here's why. I liked, I appreciated the amount of royal that we got even though I love me a royal something or other, yeah. I uh, love me a world something or other. I was okay that there wasn't, like, we weren't at the castle or wherever. Like, we weren't there. Because that wasn't even the nature of the movie. So, I was already prepared in that aspect. And I was okay with it. I normally like the prince movies more than the princess movies. Um, Even though I enjoyed... What was that one with Chris McFly? Uh, Winter Princess? With Natalie Hall? I think that's what it's called. I did enjoy that one. Um, I like this one better than that one, though. But that's not what we're here for. I think Philippa did a phenomenal job playing Princess Amelia. I think everyone was casted perfectly in here for this movie. Brant played the mess out of Grady. He was working like his rent was due the next day. Do you hear me? I need to see him in this role more. Um, the last time we saw him, if I'm not mistaken, was Baker's son, so which was a little bit more lighthearted, ro more, you know, romance, rose-colored glasses, kind of. And I was like, oh, the kid isn't playing, and I appreciated it, you know? I like this. I, there were some steamy moments for the kid. You know, personally speaking, I was like, oh, so this is going to be the trajectory of this here new hallmark. Am I ready? The jury is still out on that. Um, I, 
I don't know what else to say other than I appreciated it. I appreciated the banter. I think their uh, relationship as a couple, as someone who is trying to develop, a, like I could definitely see that there was an attraction between the two of them. The one thing, the one thing, I just feel like the I love you at the end. I'm like, really boss? Do you really? I mean, y'all known each other for how long? Like, and that's, that's my, I call it my wedding veil Tracy coming in. You know, like, I don't, really? I don't know. I just don't know. So that's the only thing that turned me off at the end I was, with the I love you declaration. I was just like, Ugh. but other than that, yo, this movie was fine. Oh, it, I realized, first of all, I've never been that far out west in the United States. The furthest west I got was minnesota and that was on a layover first of all they it was, i was going to milwaukee and the flight pattern had me go to minneapolis have a, like a a few hours of a layover there and then um fly to milwaukee that was my flight pattern but i've always wanted to explore that side of the united states so even though they weren't really there you know what i'm saying just me as a viewer getting into the movie it, it kind of reignited those feelings of like, yeah, I really do want to explore that area of the United States. And I, the cinematography reminded me of Just One Kiss. With so I saw someone mention it. I forget if it was on Facebook or Instagram where they said, did this movie have like a hazy glow over it or was it just me? And to that person, if by some happen sense you're watching, I completely agree. There's like this... It's almost like it's film, like, do you know when you first wake up and that that bit of haze, like when the the sun like peeks in and you can see it, you see the little like dust particles. Fall. That's what, that's the kind of cast I feel like was over this movie. Same with, and I, I yeah, Just One Kiss was a little bit, that one was like, had greater clarity and was darker, like richer in its colors but this one had like a soft sun glaze haze over it in my opinion i don't know the campfire scene the fireplace scene when she gave her the quilt when our our b and b host gave her the quilt and then she gave her the pearls i was clutching my non-existent pearls <laughs> i really appreciated this this um I'm still trying to debate whether I want to give y'all a ranking now or in June, but I will tell you that this ranks number three for me in my overall ranking. And I will say I'm ranking based on rewatchability and just me genuinely loving these movies and my favorites. I'm not saying one is technically better than the other. I'm just saying where my heart belongs. <laughs> That's never not going to be a joke to me when I say that. I'm sorry. Where my heart belongs concerning these movies and my enjoyment with them. So know that when I give you a ranking, I'm telling you, like, these are my favorites. These are the ones that I've enjoyed. Um, because I'm no film critic. You know, you know, I'm just your friendly neighborhood Dara just over here loving Hallmark movies. Okay. <laughs> so. So. Yeah, this ranks number three in my enjoy enjoyment of the Hallmark Channel movies that we've gotten so far. But I will say, too, this it was either this one or Just One Kiss. I forget. That's where I was like, oh, we got to separate our Hallmark movies and mysteries and Hallmark Channel rankings now. Because before, I had them together because it was so easy because Hallmark movies and mysteries has been killing it consistently. I feel like, though, with Just One Kiss, we're now... St like, we're finally starting okay we're, we picked up some momentum it took us four months but dag nabbing it we're here right we're here um i love the princess amelia's relationship with her mother it felt very mature and i appreciated that i love her relationship with her uncle i want an uncle like that let's keep a quota throughout the year how many times i want to be adopted by these characters <laughs> That's really all I got to say. I hope I 
said something of significance that resonated with you. <laughs> um, to, for more in, for a more in-depth look into the movie, be sure to check out the Dear Hallmark podcast. I'm going to be reviewing a royal runaway romance on there as well. But because it's a, a longer audio medium, I, I spend more time with the movie. I let it marinate. I let it stew. I let it germinate in the gumbo. And so we are able to pick it apart um, more so than me, you know, just giving you my, my, my feelings from, from the, from the surface, like just, you know, my first impressions, things like that. Uh, I ain't got nothing else, y'all. That's pretty much it. Did y'all enjoy the movie? Let's talk about it in the YouTubes. Let's talk about it in the YouTubes, in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. Y'all, okay, so I went live on Instagram yesterday, and it was a blast. Had no idea. I actually just had no rhyme or reason. I was just like, let's just go live. Let's just see where it goes. Got to talking about Rama Drama, Miss Gabrielle Graf Palmer, one of the founders and creators of Rama Drama Live, got on live with me. You'll, I saved it. Um... And it's in the it's in it's on Dear Hallmark's Instagram. And also, I started a Facebook page. So last Wednesday, I was invited to join the Heinies Face Club. Wait, what? The Heinies Facebook fan page group. Um, and I went live with Donna Joe over there, and I realized there's a whole group of people that are on Facebook who aren't on Instagram that I feel like I'm missing out on. So Dear Hallmark is now on Facebook. There's a link in the description for that. But also be sure to check out that live because <laughs> Donna Joe and I was just on our merry way talking about his movies and guess who popped in but the Tyler Hines himself. So you want to make sure you go to that Facebook group, join that Facebook group if you're a fan of Tyler Hines and check out that Facebook live. It's going to be up there in the featured um, I had so much fun, like so much fun talking with them and to John, John and Joe. Um, I think that's it. I don't think, I think I don't have any other news for you guys, except that know that we got a curious caterer review coming. I am going to miss love classified. Um, I'm going to miss that one. So instead of giving you the love classified review, you're going to get a curious caterer review from me next Tuesday, since I'm going to, uh, I'll be away for that one. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. Uh, subscribe to the podcast. Let me know what's your favorite Hallmark Royal movie. Who would you want to see played in a Hallmark Royal movie next that we maybe haven't seen already? Or do we want to repeat something or other? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.